I am making weapons from all of the Halo games as well as some vehicles in Minecraft with the use of data packs. This is part one of an advanced tutorial series about data pack and resource pack creation. In this video, I'll go over how to make your own custom model using Blockbench and how to get it in game. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Just download this, it's completely free, and then you can start making your models. Download for whatever version you need, and once you have it installed, you can open it up and it should look like this. Click on Java block slash item and click on create mo new model. You can give a name, I'll just call it tutorial model. If you want to get this in game, you can't use any capital letters or spaces. You can use underscores to, instead of spaces and all the letters need to be lowercase. If you're just making this for fun and you don't plan on putting it in a resource pack, then this name can be whatever you want. You can adjust the settings however you want here, but m most of the time you can just leave it how it is. Click confirm, and then there are a few things you need to know. First of all, you can move, you can move around like this by holding right click and dragging it. You can rotate your camera by left clicking and dragging, or you can use this thing at the bottom. Over here, you can click on add cube and that will add a cube. You can move it around with the move tool. These are your, tool, your tools up here. You can move it with these little arrow thingies. Next is the size tool. You can press S or click on the resize up here. You can stretch it, do whatever you want with it. These two tools are what you're gonna be using most of the time. These are your main tools. Then you've got the rotate tool. You can press R for that. And you can also press this to make to put the pivot point in the center, or you can move it around with the pivot point tool. So again, just drag, click on these, and you can rotate it. Then you've get, got the vertex shape tool. You can press Command D to duplicate something, and if you use the this tool, you click on the corner, and then click on another cube, and click on a different corner, and those corners will link together. They're still different cubes, but they will connect but they will connect at those corners. Also, when you're ready to paint it, you click up here on paint, but you first need to put everything into a group. Then you can go to paint and select the group that you want to create texture for, because you can't just start painting. It'll give you this pop-up that says this set, the surface does not have a texture. So you select the group you want, and then click create texture, you can call it whatever you want. Again, this has to be lowercase if you're going to export it. Again, you can leave these how they are, and then you can pick the colors and start painting it. B is obviously for the brush tool. The paint bucket does what you expect. Eraser tool, also pretty self-explanatory. The color picker, if you're using, you don't need to go to the color picker tool to pick a color. You can just use the brush and hold left alt and then click on the color you want and paint. The draw shape tool is useful for, well, drawing shapes. And lastly, the gradient tool. Drag from one end of cube to another and it'll give you this nice gradient. To delete a cube, you literally just click on it, right click on it, then click on delete. So after you've designed your model, like I've done here, you can go over to display and then this is how it will appear in game. You can change all the settings over here. How it looks in your, how it looks in third person, first person, right hand and left hand. Don't bother with the head unless you're making something that goes on the head. You can change the ground, item frame, GUI. So yeah, once you're done with this, you're ready to export it. Go to, click on file, then export export block slash item model. You should be exporting it to a resource pack. I already have one set up right here, but if you don't, then go watch this video right here. Put it on screen now. One thing to note is that you always, always want to save your textures first. This is because once you export your project, this will say your namespace and it will say block. It automatically defaults to block. You want it to say item because that's where you've saved your model. If you don't save your textures first, then you're going to have to go through and edit all of these. Just these th four. Or however many textures that you have. Now you go in game, press F3 and T to reload the resource packs. Once that's finished, you can type slash give at S 
and this could be any item you that you want just gonna do a stick and then you want to put two brackets it is very important to note that this tutorial is for the snapshots it will not work in any other version except the latest snapshot it'll work in one it'll work in 24w36 and 37a the reason I'm doing it in the snapshot is because of the new item component item model so right after item model you want to put two quotes and inside those quotes you want to put in your namespace and then whatever you named your model mine was light underscore rifle you want to type it in exactly the exact name and location of your model press enter and you should have your model in game so there you go that that's all there is for using blockbench and getting your model in game in my next video I'll show you how to get this thing working. Right now, it's literally just a stick. In later videos, I'll make a ray casting tutorial. However, the next one will just be right click detection. I have made a video about this before, except that one is now outdated since there are better methods in 1.21. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.